What's up everybody? Welcome back to Trucking with Turtle. We are sitting here in the parking lot at the TA down in Jackson, Georgia with our main machine over there. The flashing lights. That's the main machine that we got the parts for. Um, so we had to sit here until 8 o'clock because he's not able to move until 8 and I'm just going to go down with him. Um, the crane's not getting there until 10 a.m. anyhow. So we're not leaving out until 8. So there's no there's there was no point for me to get up stupid early this morning and head down there if the crane's not even gonna be there until 10 o'clock. So that's that. Um once I get down to the quarry, I don't know if I can actually film or not in there, but we're gonna, you know, fingers crossed, we're gonna see. But it's also supposed to rain a decent amount and pretty heavily all day today so i don't even know if i'll be able to get to film anything because of the rain because i can't i'm not allowed to i don't know so we're we'll have to see once we get down there what happens but um hopefully by the time we get offloaded we have another load uh i know he's picking up an oversized um he's picking up an excavator going to columbus ohio and he said i might be hauling the parts for that that uh that go up there because he doesn't think they're gonna ship up the bucket and counterweight with it so i don't know i'll call uh i'll call my dispatch after i get offloaded well i'll actually call dispatch once once we get down there but my my regular dispatch is uh out of the office on most fridays and mondays so i'll call my backup dispatch this morning um so fingers crossed something's set up for me afterwards and as far as I know a couple people have asking about sorry I have a really itchy nose right now I know some people were asking about how our hours work our hours <laughs> I was people are asking how the uh, the hours worked over here in the states regarding uh, truck driving so I was gonna do a quick screenshot of this got fresh hours baby but uh we'll go more in depth on that later this uh, later this afternoon so stay tuned we'll see you station back there so we're gonna wait for him on this exit right here he shouldn't be more than like a couple minutes so once he gets here we'll get back on I think about three miles or so away uh, from the uh, from the quarry so hopefully I'm able to get some footage in there I don't know how much I'm actually gonna be able to get like outside the truck actually unloading the stuff and and everything because like I said it is yeah, that'd be 23 right here we're just to the right boy come on this round the belt and more because um, it is supposed to rain literally all day today so, I don't know, we'll play by, uh, play by ear, we'll see what happens. God damn, those rumble strips. Hopefully 
hope they don't have us unloading in the mud though. That'd be pretty shitty. But I'm gonna assume most of everywhere is gonna be pretty pretty nasty. Yeah, so the crane won't be here uh, until 
We're here. Alright, let's send our 
It's gonna hold up traffic.
this is gravel. So, thankfully, it's not going to be crazy muddy. Because it, it is supposed to rain all day today, so. Thankfully, we're not in the mud. Understood what he meant, I think. I completely misunderstood what he said. He said, Flip a U turn, we're backing up. Homeboy just pulled a 45 degree angle back up. I got confused. Clearly.
dump truck right now. Alrighty, we are done being uh, unloaded over here at the mine. Um, it's been pouring down rain all day today, so I didn't get any footage outside. Um, I need to figure out a way where I can use my GoPro with a, um, a hard hat. I need to figure out how to do that. But we got our next load. We're picking up a, uh, like a little mini excavator, uh, mini wheel loader, sorry. Um, a bucket a coupler and then a jcb load all which is like a telehandler uh, over at savannah so we're leaving here we're gonna head over to savannah doesn't load till tomorrow morning because i'm not gonna get there in time because well you know what i'll explain the reason why it took us so long we're just now getting out of here at 1 30 we got here at 8 30 so five and a half hours here at the mine but i'll explain kind of why they took a little bit longer than usual once we get over to our yard in savannah so uh see you guys over there peace all right what's up everybody we are done driving for the day we're sitting over here at the jcb yard in savannah um we didn't get here in time this afternoon to get loaded so we have to wait till in the morning to get loaded but that's gonna be the end of this video but kind of explain why it took five and a half hours to get unloaded at the uh at the mine um the guy that came uh, with a crane got there set up and everything and we were about to take the the main machine off but excuse me but the uh electric electrical or electrician foreman came over and said that we needed to move the crane 150 feet away from the power lines instead of the 50 feet that we were whoops so we had a it took about an hour to set it up so we had to take a take everything back down and then we had to reset everything back up no big deal you know it's the it's their uh their rules there at the mine so we're gonna follow it but that's why it took a little bit longer than normal kind of to to get unloaded there at the mine so but we got out of there we came over here to savannah we got our paperwork for uh in the morning uh like i said we're picking up a jcb load all and then picking up a little deuce on and then we're going over to uh going over to alabama so um i know a few of you uh, have asked about um our trucking hours over here in the states so i'm kind of briefly gonna go, go over that with you guys all right so i'm gonna try explain the uh the dot hours as simple and easy as i can so we have an eight hour rest break Eight hour rest break means whenever you start your day, you have eight hours before you have to take a mandatory 30 minute rest. Um, 11 hours of driving. You have a total of 11 hours to drive in a single single day. That's what that means. 14 hours is how, many, is how long you have to be on duty for the entire day. What When that comes into play is whenever you're like doing you're doing work, but you're not driving. Whether it be, you know, at a shipper, helping them helping them load, at a delivery, helping them, you know, unload, whatever. Or if you're loading or unloading your own stuff, um, that, that'll fall under the on-duty, not driving. So your 14-hour tick down, but not your 11-hour. But say your 14-hour ticks down to below your 11-hour driving. Just because you have 10 and a half hours left of driving, you can't drive that 10 and a half hours because you're limited to that 14 hour clock. So that's kind of where 11 and 14 hour clocks kind of, I don't know, not get confusing, but gets gets to be a little bit of a pain is, um, is a 14 or 11 hour. And then we have a 70 hour on duty. <laughs> so we have 70 hours a week that we're able to work legally. Now, I'm going to explain the 70 hours and how to get hours back. Um, 
as simply as possible. Because honestly, it's, it's confusing as, as hell, even for me. So I had just come off a 34 hour reset while waiting to unload this morning. So I had a fresh 70 hours. Now it started this morning at um, 6.30 a.m. is whenever my clock started. Now I'm not gonna get time back until eight days from today. And which means next Tuesday is whenever I'll start getting hours back. So however many hours I work today, I'll get back next week. And then however many hours I work tomorrow, I'll get back in a week. However many hours I work on Wednesday, I'll get back, you know, so on and so forth. So that's kind of how the 70, 70 hour work week works. And then another way is your 34 hour reset. Taking 34 hours, spending it in the sleeper or off duty in a hotel or, or your house or whatever. Um, so that's kind of the TLDR on the hours. It's very confusing for people that have no idea about it. So it, it honestly is difficult to explain. I'm, I'm just going to keep it real. It's difficult to explain. Um, but nonetheless, hopefully that gives you a little bit of information about the whole 70 hours and I mean the whole uh, US um, DOT hours. So hopefully that kind of helps. But we just got our food, so we're going to munch down on that. That's going to be the end of this video. But like I said, we're loading up tomorrow and we're going to Alabama. So that'll be the next video. But thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you guys for watching, and if you guys could please comment, like, and please subscribe. We're, we're still sitting at like 65% of the viewers not being subscribed. Let's, let's make that lower. So hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. And until next time, we'll see you. Peace.